Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to the channel. And uh, I got quite an exciting project for you guys today. So I needed some sort of a ramp or some sort of a fun box for my fingerboard. And I decided that I was going to build myself a staircase with a nice ledge, kind of like what you find in skate parks or, you know, around the city. Uh, so I figured I'd kind of go through it step by step with you guys, what I did. And just so you guys know, I'm not a professional builder or anything. So, uh, you know, all of this was done by hand. And as I go through it and explain it, you guys will see. So what I'm doing right now is I actually have some spare plywood and... I'm actually just using that because it was laying around. So I am doing this on a budget as well. Uh, basically, I cut out my first piece of wood uh, for the base of the stairs. And now I'm just kind of using it to measure out the same size. And then later I will cut the ledges uh, or cut the pieces a little bit shorter to kind of form the staircase. So yeah, when I said that this build did have its challenges, that's because I did a lot of this by hand. As you can see, I'm actually sawing it by hand. And uh, this is probably the second hardest thing that I've done. Uh, this was a little bit more exhausting just because, you know, doing it by hand is more physically uh, demanding. Uh, and yeah, it did take a, quite a long time. I mean, it took me probably about two and a half hours just to cut out all the pieces that I needed to get it done or to, you know, have the basically have the base that I needed in order to uh, start building the staircase. And yes, this is me actually on top of the table trying to cut the plywood, uh, which I haven't mentioned yet. But yeah, I used plywood to do this. Uh, my plywood was 12 millimeters, uh, just for the information. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I was up on top of the table because uh, I was trying to cut it straight. And, uh, you know, I didn't have a proper workbench. Um, I, did, I don't have any kind of like automatic saw or anything. So I was trying to cut it as straight as possible. I actually figured out a way to kind of get it pretty straight later on. I'll try and show you that as well. But yeah, I just figured it's a bit funny since I'm on top of the table trying to, trying to cut this stupid piece of plywood. So yeah, uh, once I had my pieces cut out, I cut out four pieces and then I stacked them together and I just had a little quick test just to make sure that my fingerboard could get up there okay. Uh, I did make quite large pieces. Uh, I kind of forgot my calculations, uh, but I think the top piece, I cut it out to about 30 centimeters and then the bottom piece must have been a little bit more, uh, maybe, I don't know, uh, about 50 centimeters long. So once I had the overall stack ready, uh, I decided to start cutting or well, before I started cutting, I started making marks on uh, the edges to kind of start forming the staircase. And then basically once I made my marks, I started cutting them out uh, just so I could start getting that staircase effect. And again, this took quite a long time, but I, I kept pushing through uh, and I got it done in the end. So yeah, this is basically like the raw design of the stairs. Uh, and I'll show you from another angle and that's kind of what I was working with uh, just for the staircase basically and that was the stairs done and then on to the next part. So basically after that I needed to create the ledge and you know again I'm not a pro builder or anything you know uh, I just enjoy doing it as a hobby uh, but yeah I started making marks where I kind of wanted my ledge to start how high I wanted it and then after that, I started measuring out the corners because I wanted the edge of the ledge to have a slope going down the staircase. And that was basically uh, what I got going on with that. And actually, you know, in the end, it turned out pretty good. And you guys are going to have to see at the end what it turned out like. But uh, yeah, uh, that was basically how I did it. I just kind of winged it. Um, so if I can do it, basically all of you can do it as well. Yeah, so basically once I dusted it off uh, or dusted the wood pieces off. I slapped on some fox glue to kind of make sure that it held properly. And uh, my son wanted to join in. He thought it was super fun. So it was a little bit of a father-son moment. We had a few arguments about who put glue where and my son got glue all over his hand. So he was running back and forth uh, to the kitchen to go and wash all the glue off. But yeah, other than that, I think it was a pretty successful moment. Um, once that happened, I basically uh, aligned it and, and I started putting it together so I put my first layer or sec technically my second layer on top and I just wanted to make sure that it was kind of in line before I started doing anything else so that took a little bit of time 
uh, you can see I was trying to be a little bit of a perfectionist and I pressed it down just to kind of hold it there while my son was kind of just playing with himself. And once that was done, I basically pulled out my hammer. I bought this hammer new. It cost me like a dollar <laughs> from where I live because I live in Indonesia. And then I started putting in some nails into each corners just to make sure that it was kind of solid and held its place. Yeah, so this is me basically aligning that last piece. And you can see the staircase has started to come, come together pretty well. Um, I got it all the right size and I was just fitting on that last piece to the top uh, before I started putting uh, the last nails in it basically. Yeah, so as I mentioned, uh, you know, I used a saw by hand and not all the pieces came out even. And this was probably the most exhausting part of it just because I don't have a sanding machine. So I did all of this by hand. And if you guys do sand anything, I really recommend wearing a mask because I did it without a mask in the beginning. And uh, my nose just started running and I was coughing and everything. And <laughs> it just wasn't really enjoyable. Uh, I was kind of measuring it with, uh, I forgot what you call this tool, but just to try and get it as even as possible. And I'll tell you what, it did take quite a long time. I think it took me uh, a good hour and a half to really sand it down properly. And that was me going at it vigorously, like hard, just going as much as I could. And I sanded all the edges except for one side, which was already flat. So that side ended up a little bit rough. But yeah, sanding. If you can get a sanding machine, I highly recommend it. You know, doing it by hand is exhausting. Once sanding was done, I cut out the ledge. This is how it turned out. I was super stoked. I thought the slope was really good. And I'm not going to show you guys me putting it together, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like before I did it. So yeah, this is the raw product. This is what we're working with. And I did a little panoramic for you guys before we slap on some paint. Let's go. I got to tell you guys, I actually enjoyed painting this. Uh, it was super relaxing after all that hard work that I did. Uh, my son, again, wanted to help me, so I let him help me. Obviously, you know, he was just making a mess everywhere, but I finished it up and cleaned it up. Uh, but yeah, it looked really good at the end, and I'll give you a little preview now. This is basically what it looked like uh, after painting it. I did put a couple more coats on after this video, but I did a total of three coats of paint. And yeah, it turned out really good. Once painting was done, I hit it with some clear coat. We use P-Locks where I live. Uh, I don't know where, uh, what you use wherever you are. Uh, I actually did all the clear coat uh, before this video. I'm just doing this whole shake the can and everything for effect, you know, because it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so the coping, I had to think about it a little bit. I ended up going with uh, some aluminum sheets because I thought that would be quite easy. Um, I was wrong. Um, I think my aluminum sheets were a little bit too thin. I would probably have gone for a bit of a, like a thicker one. Uh, I used some heavy duty scissors to cut them and that worked fine. After I measured it out, I kind of tried to follow the line as best I could. I did a little bit of trimming just to kind of straighten them out a bit. And after that, I bent them over the edges and uh, kind of molded them into place, which was also really difficult. I had to change glue twice just to kind of get the right glue because I didn't want to put nails in it. Um, but yeah, in the end, it turned out okay. I cut out four pieces, so two for each side at the top and then two for each side uh, on the slope part. So yeah, this is the final piece. Let's see how it shreds. Yeah, so I just really want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it this far and you enjoyed my content, uh, please uh, give us a subscribe, uh, give us a like, share, you know. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment, obviously. Uh, I look forward to doing some more projects. 
uh, and I have some pretty cool ideas in mind so you know stay tuned for all of that other than that you know keep fingerboarding enjoy life keep going and I'll see you all in the next video bye bye